Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Hey everyone, this is Kenny with UCF 150s back at you with another video. So today's change we're going to be making is pretty simple, but it's one of those things that maybe we can do to get the truck to look a little bit cleaner. So, for those of you all who don't follow the channel, 2016 F-150 XLT, done a whole bunch of different things to it, 6 inch super lift put on it, spacers up front, Bill Stein shocks in the back, it's got 22 by 10s with a negative 25 offset, um, fuel alpha, I mean, um, hostile alpha rims um let's see needle terror grapplers it's got the low profile tunnel cover on it um got the bed drop extension towel light covers on it um the eco beast emblem <laughs> and i kind of like it and uh on the inside ha <laughs> ha We got the cat skin leather put all over the whole thing. Down there, a little thing you don't know is a base knob. I have a 12 kicker CVR in it with a 400.1 uh, RMS amp. Um, done a whole lot of changes to four scan. Um, but yeah, just a quick little rundown of the truck. The headlights are the Enzo headlights, but these are dummies at the bottom, so that's just a demon eye white. Up top, we have the G5R projectors, which is a bi xenon with the Phillips bulbs and um, the bi xenon, the uh, not bi xenon, the what is it, xenon depot ballast. So, what we're gonna be doing here. Getting rid of the buck tooth look. So I'm not sure if I'm going to change out this plastic piece here, this trim, and just leave the mesh grill, which is going to match this mesh grill, the same color as this, or if I could color match it all. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. I want to get it switched out. If it is something that I don't like, um, I'll just take it out and then repaint them. But let's go in here and get this thing out of the box and open and see what kind of um, packaging we got. I think originally this piece was well, 80 bucks. I mean, my, my number is going to be off, but I'm going to post a picture right here. Uh, don't you see? It did have a significant sale, so I think I got it for around the uh, $49. So it was a good bit off. Had to pay for shipping, which wasn't much, but... Right, new front mesh comes silver it's not porous like the other one um, let's see. It does have the little drops down right here that match the 2016 I think the 2018s are just squared straight across I am going to be looking for one of those as well when I figure out, my wife figure out what she wants to do with hers. Um, for those of you all who don't know, my wife has the 2018 Blue Lightning. Um, right now we have the color matched XLT bumper. Um, she is debating on the Ford bumper to go into the front. It will color match it. So like I said, there's no need to put a honeycomb grill in the bottom of her truck and then keep it with a XLT um, upper grill. So we'll switch all of it out once we figure out what she's gonna do. But long story short, let's get this thing into the truck and get it up front and get the other one taken out. Before we do that, I guess, I should see, there's a whole bunch of push pins. Looks like the front one should just literally snap out. No bolts, no screws, no nothing. Looks like it's gonna hold this one in. So let's hope there's nothing that's gonna hold that one in. All right. So here we are up at the front. Yes, I do have a couple rock trips in here, here and there. It's kind of what happens when you live on a gravel road and you're parked on one. Um, 
things happen to your truck. This is the only reason why I haven't went into ceramic coating my truck. I love my truck to be nice and clean. My rock chips are just going to beat mine to death. So this is the different grill that's going to go in there. By the initial looks of it, it's going to be color matched. Uh, it's not the dark gray textured. It is more of a smooth gray something. I don't know what color that magnetic gray look. But let's go ahead and get just get it on the truck to just see. I don't know how hard it's going to be to get this one off. So, but not shouldn't be too hard. Pop, pop. Snap, 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 snap. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. And the new one will sit right up here. Snap in likewise to the front of the truck. I'm not going to snap the bottoms in yet because I'm sure I'm going to take this out and paint it. But I just want to get a good look at the grill. Definitely does change the look of the truck up. So before I go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. Wet sanded. Get it prepped for some color. This video is going to continue when this is color matched to the rest of the truck. Um, then we'll get this bad boy on there. All right. Okay, everyone, so here's the moment of truth. Hold on. Okay, everyone, so here's the moment of truth. Trucks all done. So, yes, it is snowing, and when I started this video, it was not snowing. So, um... Basically what happened was when I was doing this lower part, I decided I was going to redo my front grill since I had a couple of chips in it. And since I had a couple of chips in it and I started doing it, I wasn't prepared, ran out of paint, had to resand it. Hey. All right, everyone. So here we are with the finished project. Um, the problem that I ran into, well, yes, it's snowing. And there's snow on the ground and when i started this video it was not snowing um so what happened was i got down in there and i had it all painted it was all looking good and then i decided i had a couple rock chips in my front um grill that i wanted to fix did not turn out the way it was supposed to i, I should have done it all at one point in time but then i had different paints different things going on um bad chemical reaction then i ran out of paint and then I had to order new paint and it didn't take, but it took about four days to get here. So then I stripped it, sanded it and redid it. So next time, just be patient, people, if you're going to do this. Here's the finished project of it. All right. New grill paint on there. Uh, fresh painted for a grill. New lower. Uh, the honeycomb is a little bit smaller, but it does really look good in there. I actually um, also... Got this grill from Amazon. Let me see if I can get my finger on there. These lights were a little bit more yellowish than I like. So what I did was I took them out and I wrapped them in some Lemon X amber color. And now they look a lot more amber and they match the side amber well. But all right, that's the conclusion of my video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. All right, so here's the official front. And this is the conclusion of my video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned to the channel. Like I said, this one's going to be going into the shop soon. Got a new grill coming for it. Some paint. Going to get it color matched and whatnot. And get it up in the air. Put those 22s on. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. This is the end.